One community is rallying to help a young boy suffering from a form of epilepsy. People in Adams are holding a fundraiser this weekend. But ABC6 News reporter John Detcott tells us why the money won't be going to medical bills, but rather something a little furrier. 21-month-old Adrian Mergen had his first seizure shortly before his first birthday. And all of a sudden, he just kind of sat up. His um, eyes rolled in the back of his head a little bit, and he just started turning blue. Adrian doesn't have the normal seizures. He doesn't jerk or convulse. His um, breathing is affected. His breathing can be affected to the point where it can stop for minutes at a time. So every six to seven breaths you're taking, he's taking one. He turns about dark blue. After having 17 seizures in just one month last year, the condition has halted Adrian's ability to speak and he is just starting to learn sign language, which is why Adrian's family is hoping to get him a service dog. The dog um, will catch his fall so his head won't hit the ground. Um, it will also turn him over if he falls face forward and it will um, carry his emergency medicine. The dog can also alert Adrian's parents during the night if he's having an episode, and although he's down to around one seizure per week, the condition still puts a burden on their family. You know, at this point, we're just taking it one day at a time, and every day that he makes it without a seizure is a, it's a good day. On Saturday, community members in Adams are throwing a benefit to try and raise the roughly $35,000 needed to purchase the service dog. Having just moved to Rose Creek in July, Adrian's parents say they're overwhelmed by the support. Today at work, I had people coming up to me saying, oh my gosh, you're Adrian's mom, and they were handing me five $10 bills. Get his dog. I hope this gets his dog. Service dog or not, the Mergen family has vowed to keep pressing on together. It's really benefited us. It's taught us how to be a strong family and lean on one another and be there. In Rose Creek, John Detcott, ABC6 News. The fundraiser for Adrian starts at 9 a.m. on Saturday at the Little Cedar Lutheran Church in Adams. There will be a silent auction, portrait studio, and a race car for kids to explore. All attendees are asked to wear purple, and donations can be made at the church or at the United Farmers State Bank in Adams.